Here at the Non-Rocket Science Institute of Photography, we do a lot of photo critiques. We do them digital, and a lot of times we also do them off of prints. One of the problems we see when doing them off of prints is that arms, heads, stuff's cut off. The reason for that, we always tell people, we'll leave a little room on the side, and I always go, well, I did, but when I printed it, it got cut off on the paper. That's because when they're sending stuff out for prints, they're sending it for the paper size, not the aspect ratio of the print they actually want. Today we're going to show you how not to be a slave to aspect ratio of paper. Okay, so let's crop some pictures. As you can see, we're using Photoshop. I've got bridge open. I've got two pictures in here. They're identical. I just made two copies so that we don't have to backtrack and undo all the changes we do to the first one. So we're going to open Demo Crop 1 over here. And for this, we're going to crop it the way you would typically would to send it out and get printed. Uh, common format out there is 8x10, so we're going to crop it to 8x10. I've got my picture open. I will go to my crop tool. And now let's set it to an 8 by 10. Actually, that's backwards, so let's do it to a 10 by 8 at 300 dpi, or pixels per inch rather in this case. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is we lost a little bit off of both edges, which is fine. Uh, and looking at the picture, I really don't want this chain in the front, so we're going to crop that out. Notice as I crop, I'm losing portions of the picture. I still have a lot up top, but I'm losing some of that nice graphic element on the side over there. So let's play around with this a little bit. Oh, can't do it that way. Bring it down. Put the cowboy towards the center. Still want more on. Trying not to throw too much of this away, but as you'll notice, there's not much I can do with it. It does tend to throw it a lot of the picture away when doing this. I think that's about the best I can do. So let's OK this crop. And now let's save the image. File, save as. The lab likes JPEGs. So let's go down to JPEG. And the nice little tip is to name your file the size you crop it. So this will be 8 by 10. We save it. And we'll take a compression ratio of 10 is fine. I wouldn't go lo lower than 10 for a print. We save that. And there we have our first version of the picture. Now, that was a standard crop. I'm going to show you now how to crop so that the picture looks like what you want it to see in your mind rather than what the aspect ratio forces you to print. So we will go back to Bridge and we will open Demo Crop 2. I'm going to clear my ratios from before so now there is nothing constraining us to 300 dpi, 8x10 or anything like that. And we're not going to worry about sizing it to 300 dpi just yet. First thing we want to do is just crop this the way we saw it when we shot it. So let's bring it up on the bottom, get rid of that chain because I didn't like the chain. Let's open it up a little wider here and a little wider there. When I was shot this, I was really thinking panoramic. Too much space up top. So let's bring it down a little bit to where we like it. Maybe it'll bring it up a little bit more on the bottom. And there we have it. It's a panoramic. You've got a nice leading line in on either side. Uh, got rid of the chain, got rid of the distracting things. So I'm going to OK that crop. Now, this picture, I didn't set the resolution on it yet. So now I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go into my image and go to my image size. Let's set it to take off the resample. We'll change it to 300 dpi and it's telling us that we're 14 inches wide. Well that's too big. We want to print this 
at for an 8 by 10 sheet of paper. So actually it's going to be an 8 by, yeah, so an 8 by 10. Let's do it at about 9 and a half. Okay, so you'll notice I'm gonna I am gonna resample it. I'll knock it down to 300 dpi. So you'll notice I'm dealing with a nine and a half by 4.14 or by about four inches. Actually, we're gonna change this. Let's do it nine and a quarter. There we are. So it's basically it's about a nine by four picture. Definitely not eight by ten, but we're gonna okay that. Now we have the picture sized to how we want. Let's add a little bit of a finishing touch to it too. So I'm gonna go back into my image and I'm gonna to go to my canvas size. Okay, now on my canvas size, I'm gonna set this to pixels and I'm going to add a 20 pixel black border around the entire image by expanding the canvas 20 pixels. What that'll do is that'll actually give you 10 pixels up here, 10 pixels down here, 10 pixels over here, 10 pixels over there. And it'll give us a nice little outline on it. So we change this to add 20, that would be 95. Add 20 here, that would be 42. And we okay it. And you can see, here's the border right around the edge. Now, if we were to send this to the printer, what would happen is even though it's nine over here, it would take this four inch size, try and spread that out to eight inches when it went into print it, and we'd almost end up with the same crop we had before when we did the normal crop. So we're gonna fool the printer by setting this dimension of this picture to a full eight by 10. To do that, I go back up into my image, I go to my canvas size, this time we're gonna use white, I'm gonna keep it in inches, and I'm going to do my height at 8. I'm going to do my width at 10. We OK that. And now we have filler space all around. When the printer, when the machine printer reads it, it's going to see that this is an 8 by 10 image, but the actual image that we give it is 9 and a quarter by 4. So let's save this. And again, JPEG. Let's give it the size, which is 9 by 4. Save. 10 compression. And there we have the picture. Now we'll send these out to the lab and let's see what happens. So we have our pictures back from the lab. Here's the first one. This is the one that's printed for the paper size. It's not exactly how we envisioned it. Yes, it fills the frame, but there's a lot of excess picture in there that we really don't want. Here's the one we printed specifically for the aspect ratio of the picture, the way we like it. You'll notice we have a nice faux matte top and bottom. It fills from side to side. And overall, it's the way we wanted to see the picture. So remember, next time you print, Print for the picture aspect ratio, not for the paper aspect ratio.